And hello from the Midlands of England, the venue for this match is Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Aston Villa versus Arsenal. Yeah, the talking is over, the game plans are set. Now it's up to the players to go out and earn their corn. There's nothing the managers can do once the first whistle goes. I think, Derek, we're in for a cracker. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield, a back four, the two fullbacks will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Bernd Leno gets the nod in goal. David Luiz starts with Rob Holding in defence. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And leading the line today, Alexandre Lacazette. Thank you, Villa Enjoy the match. And the contest begins. McGinn. Watkins. No high quality defending. Bukayo Saka. Thomas, excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Barkley. Trezeguet. Cash. Pressing high to win the ball. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Thomas. Granite Jacker. Now Lacazette. Bayerin. Lacazette is in the centre and clears his lines. Grealish. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Not to be this time. It has to be. Well, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Thomas. Nicola Pepe. Now Lacazette. Pepe. And now they have the ball back. There to take it away. High pressing at its best. Playing with purpose and control. Lacazette! He can't hold on to it. Well, the fans know they were lucky not to be behind there. They can't keep conceding chances like that. Thomas. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Lacazette. Can they nudge in front? And there's the goal. And it's not as though we didn't predict it. Well, if you spend most of the game in and around your own box, this is bound to happen. They need to try and get at least 30 to 40 yards further up the pitch. We can take another look here. I'm sure the keeper is frustrated with the defending. Just afforded too much time in the box and he's never going to miss that. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we?
Well, the coach can feel this game slipping away, I'm sure. Might need a plan B. The opening goal of the game, then. Thomas. Arsenal finding space on the wing. And beyond the last defender, offside. Esri Konsa. McGinn. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Shot attempted. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. And a corner kick, the referee's verdict. And now the delivery. The keeper was up to the task. Well, it's a decent effort, but it's a real opportunity goes begging there. Bukayo Saka. It's with Erdegaard. Fine sequence of passes. Any sort of lead is important. They have the lead. What have you made of it so far? Well, it's been a decent half for Arsenal. The coach still has some work to do at half-time, though. Ball retention has to improve a little bit if they're going to dominate in the second half. Possession could be key. Can they put it away? And a time for calm on the ball. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. The first half here comes to an end. Well, catching the eye in the first half, certainly, Nicola Pepe. Lee, what did you make of what you saw from him? Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from... Arsenal with the lead going into this second half, but no room for complacency. Martin Odegaard. Tierney. It's with David Luiz. Thomas. Hector Bellerin. On to Pepe. Granit Xhaka. Now Lacazette, Partey, showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Xhaka, just the challenge that was required. Matt Target, Watkins, Watkins. And taking it away. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. This looks promising. And Lacazette. Good tackle, take it away. Well, being pressed here. Cash. Arsenal have given it away. Well, visionary passing. He just needs to keep a cool head. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Granite Jacker. Space on the flank. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Now can they counter clinically? What can he do from here? Illegal play, and hence a free kick. And in the event, just a talking to, but could easily have seen yellow.
the keeper takes charge and dealing with the free kick. Thomas. Nicola Pepe. Did well to win the ball back. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Thomas. Bayerine. Lacazette at the ready. Goalkeeper's ball. The cross delivered too close to him. He's lost it. With the noses in front in the second half. What will be the thinking in the camp, Lee Dixon? The Arsenal players have to focus on not making any mistakes in order to protect this slender lead. If a bit of magic from the opposition gets them back in it, there's little you can do about that. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. He's driven in the corner and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Well, covering up defensively. And fed forwards. Can they get in behind them? Crossing into the middle. Not really the ideal clearance. And foiled only by the crossbar. Well, all my goalkeepers I played in front of always say the woodwork is your friend. Absolutely on that occasion. Barclays in the centre. Applying vigorous pressure. Barclay. Crossing opportunity. That's not a bad ball. Well, no problems defensively. And the referee decides enough is enough. It's the end of the game and Arsenal victorious. That's the main headline from this one, Lee. Well, it was tight, wasn't it? Just done enough in the end, I suppose, to deserve the win. Tactically, a really good game, Derek. Well, one player very difficult to contain was Nicolas Pepe. And Lee, as always, we value your opinion. He's always a man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him in that vital moment when he grabbed that goal. 